Hello and welcome to the day 12 of this full stack event application. So I had to take break because I wasn't feeling very well, but now I'm okay. We are going to continue with this project. I'll make sure that we are not taking any other break until we complete this project. And here you can see what already we have been creating through from day one up to day two. 10. So if you haven't gone through other days, just go and see how we created this project here. Also from this point, I will be adding the link to the GitHub of this project so that you may confirm with your project. So if you come here and then go to events list page here. So let's see how it looks. So here you can see we have this event list here. Page and you can see we created this one here. See this uh, location, date, event type, and also price range here as our filters. But in our red side here, we don't have events because we should see something like this where we have these filters on our left side and also the events in our right side here so that you can scroll down and also you can filter according to, to these filters in our here in our left side so if you like if you apply like a certain filter here you can see we have this filter here so you can see how it works so that's why we are going to create now this part here the right part here where we'll have all the project all events shown uh, here so let's get into the project so if you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing and also like this video so that it, this video might get to other people and they know that this channel exists. So let's get in, into our project. So since now we have we are in this project here and let's see how our code looks like. So here in uh, this in this code here already you can see we had already created this sidebar here and this sidebar here is the one that we are calling like this is the where we have our filters here so let's get into our main bar because already here you can see we have our div here that we call the main bar here so let's go inside this main bar and what we can do we'll be having like two sessions so or two sections that is so this is main bar here so the other thing that we can do is to create another div and in this div here also we'll be calling it we'll have a class name here and this class name here will give it a value of all styles here and then we say that this is an event let's say event event item first of all so this is event item just like that and the other thing inside here now is where we have like two sessions or two sections that is so the first thing that we need to have if you come here actually it should be three because here you can see we have the image we have this part here this part that has this quadris event and then the money and then the location also here on the extreme right you can see we have the date capacity ticket and place so now here is where we are going to create all those so first of all let me go back here and in our code here first thing first we need to have an image so here i'll use the image here and in this image here i'll look for uh maybe let me go into here uh, in our events and then i'll just take one let me take this dot party jpeg this one i'll be using this one remember we'll be placing this data we'll be using the data from our database eventually so don't worry we are going to take care of that so if you come here and then i'll add this here so the other thing is that because we have that and actually remember in this alt attribute here you should add uh, let me say description like that and then the other thing is that here i'll say class name uh, class name and then i'll give this 
as style. So I'll say style styles dot event event underscore image just like that. So then there after that now after the image we need to have a div and this div here will give it styles. So here I'll say class class name and then here I'll say styles uh, dot let's say event detail event underscore detail just like that so the other thing inside this detail here i'll have a h2 here and then here i'll say codris let me let me add as a title for the event so i'll say codris africa event event just like that so the other thing is that we need to have like let's say a button a button here and this button here is the one that I'll add like shadings 200 like that uh, that is Kenyan money so the other thing is I uh, will add a span here and this span is the one that will have a location so this is a location and here I'll add it as Mombasa Kenya that is Mombasa Kenya so this is Mombasa here so after that now we have another div here so in this div here we'll be giving it a class name and the, in this class name here we'll give it styles also and it will be event uh, it will be event detail underscore detail just like that and then inside here also what we'll do we'll have the date so i'll just say date actually it is a span so i'll say span and then i'll say date and then I'll add uh, the date, how the date should be. So let me see how the date uh, looks like. And we'll be using a popular package that, call, that is called moment, but that will be the later on. So you can see how this is being structured. So I'll just come here and uh, yeah, you can see already we are having the image is being added, but because we have not said so here I'll say Wednesday, February 1, 2023. Something of the sort. I think that would make sense. Yeah. So after that, now the other span that we have is for capacity. So capacity here of the people that will attend that event. So here will be 200 and then these are people. And then let's say another span here and this span here we'll call it ticket and here we'll say ticket are required and after that now we'll have another span and this span here will say place place it will be let me see how the place looks like because i'm still confirming here uh place will be physical that is so a physical place so after that so let's come here to this here and then i'll say this one is physical something of the sort just like that so i don't think we have any other thing right now so let me see here actually after now we have that event item you can see this is an event item here until here we need to have uh, this line here it is hr and this one is because if you look here we have this line here that separate one event from the other so let's go back and now we can go back so this is our code here so we can go back into our styles and let's look for events list module or css and in here is where now we are going to start styling because remember we need now to style that uh, uh that main bar and you can see already we had started to style this main bar here so let's look at other things how we can also style other things so i'll just come here and the other thing that i'll add here is a margin i say this is a margin here and our margin here will say 30 pixels and 20 pixels 
yeah because we need to have that space so and again now the other thing that i need to style let me start by main bar and then let me style first of all the line uh, so i'll say the width of the line will give it to 70 percent so the other thing that we need to style we say display and then i'll say display flex here and then i'll say align items align items to be center and justify content also to be center because i want that line to be centered and also i don't think there's an another thing that we should do there that's okay so now the other thing that we need to look at is the event item so i can come here and say event item because now we are going to start looking at how we can style the event item so uh, this is an event item and i'll say display flex uh this is display flex just like that and then i'll say maybe padding padding should be 10 pixels and then the other thing is that we need to have a border radius and this border radius will be 10 pixels just like that so let me save that and then let's go back into our code here and see if we'll be having like changes so we can actually yeah you can see here we are having like this here like you can scroll this way and let's continue styling because it seems there is no major changes that have happened but you can see here we have this line but we can't see the text here but we, i think we'll be seeing it uh when you are styling okay so let's go back and in here so let's go back here so that is it event item and let me confirm here also if it is event item yeah you can see here is a uh, event item so the other thing that we need to also style here let's look for event image and i can say event image here it should be image and then let is let style it so i'll say height i want height to be 350 pixels and another thing is that i want also a width to be 300 pixels and the other thing is object fit to be at least cover just like that so that is it and the other thing that we can see we can still look at is if we have done the styling here for our image so yeah you can see actually now we can see even the 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 items here that we were not able to see and here also you can see we are able to see them so after that let's say let's come let's come in our code here and the other thing is that we need to style the event detail so dot event details event detail underscore detail so event underscore detail just like that so in here we'll say display flex also uh display flex just like that and then the other thing is that we need to say flex direction to be column and the other thing also is uh say margin margin to be zero pixels and 50 pixels and uh, the other thing is that we need also to give the first child that is the first span so i'll just say event here and then dot detail actually detail here and then i'll add this colon here and then because i want to style the first child so the first child here so we'll see the changes afterward so font weight we'll say font weight i want the font weight to be 900 and uh, the other thing is that i want to have the font size of let's say 20 pixels and the other thing is font family here to be also roboto just like that the other thing is that you need to have a color just like that this color here will give it uh, let's say this color here so let me copy the color 
and then paste it so let me copy it and paste it here so let me first of all format our code we need to format our document let's go back into a project so you can see already now we are able to actually style them the way we want so the other thing is that we need also need also to let's say to continue styling some other the other things so in here i will just uh come here take detail and then h2 this is the heading for our event and i'll just add event photo font family i want it to be roboto so that it is visible so the other thing is that we need to have a color here and our color will be this one here dark gray so after that also we need to style other things like button and here let's say event so it is event detail and then let's take a button so in this button here let's say border border to be none uh the other thing is we know we need to have a margin margin of 20 pixels and zero pixels just like that we need to have a background color background color already we have it here so the other thing is that we need to have a color of let's say hff just like that we need to have a cursor to pointer cursor pointer and the other thing is that we need to have font family font family of let's say roboto roboto just like that the other thing is that we need also to have a padding let's say a padding of 15 pixels and the other thing also is that we need to let's say this is padding we need to have a width of 100 percent and the other thing that we need to have is font size a font size should be 15 pixels so let's let me come here and i'll add event detail and then let let us take span and here we need to say font width so font width should be 900 so here is for 900 here we need to add a margin or let's say five pixels zero pixels just like that so that's all that i wanted to style there let's go back and see so here you can see we have this event here and you can see the requirement detail that we are seeing here so if you come here you can see it is it is the same and it looks the same so we are going now to start copy let me take the come here and then we can because this is an item and this is where we'll be looping this event so let me copy this here so i'm going to copy this and then paste down here and then you can see we have this line here because that's the line that is separating here our event so i'll just copy again this one here uh, just like that remember we'll be in the next video now we are going to use dummy data so after that now let me save like that so if you come here into a project here you can see now we have this project here so actually now the other thing that you can do is to make this left side here sticky so that even if you scroll it will remain in the same position because i think this filters is the one that you can you can make them just to stick there so that when you scroll down upward or when you are scrolling they will be they will be remaining in the same position so that's all that i wanted us to do in this video remember from this video now i'm going to attach my code here so that you guys will be able to at least compare your code with mine and while you'll be having a question you will be uh, creating it or we'll be adding it in comment section so let's see you in the the next video where also we are going to continue and create our demi data 
that we'll be also using in this project so let's see you in the next video have a good day